Hi, this video is another video highlighting disturbing issues presented in the recent Department of Justice Inspector General report. Issues that should make you concerned about the government's intentional abuse of its power and violation of the common good of society. The common good is central to morality and ethics. The common good is certain general conditions that are equally to everyone's advantage. The common good ensures that the social systems and institutions which we depend upon must operate in a manner that benefits all people. Let me repeat that. Must operate in a manner that benefits all people. An example of a particular common good is a just and fair government that does not deceive its citizens or abuse its power. The common good is served when a government does not deceive its citizens in order to promote its own agenda or to protect the elite. There are certain universal societal obligations we have all been taught to follow as good citizens in order to support the common good. The common good is supported when the FBI does not knowingly lie to a court or judge. The common good is supported when the FBI does not maliciously defame or damage a fellow citizen. A violation of these norms is so central to society that a violation carries with it either civil and or criminal penalties. Certainly, we never expect a member of the FBI, Department of Justice, or a judge to intentionally violate these obligations. They have a greater duty to act correctly because they have authority that the average citizen does not have. Authority we have given to them. This is important to you because the FBI may not think twice about violating your privacy and liberty rights. Yes, your privacy and liberty rights. So continue viewing if you want to protect yourself. The recent Department of Justice Inspector General report proves that we were wrong in thinking that the elite in the FBI, Department of Justice, and FISA court were morally and ethically fit. We must remember that these three major entities were involved in the illegal actions that led to the seeking and granting of illegal spying warrants on Carter Page and the Trump campaign. The FBI, the Department of Justice, and the FISA court all had parts in this illegal activity. When an application for a warrant to spy is submitted to the FISA court, the agency submitting the application has to swear to the court that the information supplied to the court is verified and truthful. The FBI made these sworn affirmations to the court on each application. They lied to the court on each application. They committed perjury. Anyone who affirmed by signing the affirmations should be prosecuted for perjury. The FISA court only hears what the government wants them to hear. The individual they want to spy on is unaware of the applications being presented to the court. This makes abuse by the FBI easy to accomplish. In this video, we will first focus on pages 183 to 187 of the Inspector General report to show you that the FBI knowingly lied to the FISA court. On these pages, we find that as early as January 2017, the FBI had identified and interviewed the primary individual that Steele used as the source for the information in the Steele dossier. Remember that Trump was just starting his first term as president at this time. The primary source is the person who gave Steele the information that Steele put into the report called the Steele dossier. The dossier that the FBI used to obtain spying warrants against Carter Page and the Trump campaign. The interviews occurred shortly after the first renewal of the FBI application to spy on Carter Page 
and indirectly the Trump campaign. These interviews gave the FBI evidence that the reliability of the Steele dossier was non-existent. The information in the dossier was made up. It was not true. That would have been enough for a morally and ethically fit individual to put a stop to any recent and future applications to spy on Carter Page and Trump. But not the FBI. They continued to lie to the court in additional applications. Then the FBI doubled down in their immoral, unethical, and illegal activity by telling the FISA court that Steele's primary source in interviews with the FBI was truthful and cooperative. Yes, to dupe the FISA court into believing that the information in the FISA renewal applications was truthful and verified. They intentionally did not tell the court that the source told the FBI that the information in the Steele dossier was not the truth. Take a look at page 215 of the Inspector General report. If you want to read about this yourself. A morally and ethically fit individual would have stopped submitting further spying applications against Carter Page and the Trump campaign. But not a single individual, not a single individual in the FBI or Department of Justice raised a finger to stop the lies to the FISA court. And the FISA court continued to accept the lies and accommodate the FBI by renewing the applications, the warrants to spy, even after they had been informed in writing by the Congressional Intelligence Committee that the information was false. Not a single individual in the FISA court acted to stop the illegal spying. How can we trust the FISA court, the FBI and Department of Justice when they act in this manner? We can't. So please email or call your congressman, your congresswoman, and senators and tell them that the FISA court has to be shut down. If the FISA court is not shut down, the FBI and other intelligence agencies will continue to use it to abuse the rights of American citizens in violation of the common good. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.